Red Max Entertainment, turning music into memories. Now, with that said, I've got all this programmed, right? I could add my effects. I could add my color matrix, just like the old one. It's just in a different. It's just in a different spot. Relocate it. Now we get to our properties window over here. So, properties window allows us to change the name of the scene. Name this demo. Okay, like I showed you before, we could change the color. I could set it so it's not seen. Not seen means it's not going to be seen on the live tabs which is really cool if you do a really complex show right say I program all my lights in here and then I go to a concert where I only need you know a few scenes I could hide the rest of them individually I could hide the rest of them so that only the ones I need are showing on the live tab and they're a lot easier to access which is a really neat fi fi feature excuse me, that they put into into this. So next down under this line, we got loops. This allows you to always loop. Just like in the previous one, you could always loop it. They just give you more options. Release at the end, always loop it. Jump to this when you finish that, so on. And then below that is the release. So this is gonna be the groups. This is going to be where you change the release of the scene, so the end of the scene um, and where it goes next. Now the flash mode, um, I have not experimented with. My guess would be turn it on, and then you see this little lightning bolt show up here, telling you that it's going to flash. I'm assuming that's manually flashing the scene, so it's going to bring up and down the master dimmer. Then uh, fade. This is probably my favorite feature. The fade in the other one, you had to go over here, control the fade time individually for each scene and each step now with this one what it's you can add a fade in and a fade out with the other one you can only do a fade in so if you did a fade in on your the scene you're on and then the next scene they would fade out into each other but it wouldn't fade out it would just cut out and then the next one would come in so this is a lot better in my opinion so I can go to fade right I gotta turn it on and then once it's on I get this grid, which I could actually use these buttons down. This is the fade in from the left, fade out to the right. I could use these to change the seconds it fades in, the milliseconds, and the time that it fades out, so I can make it fade out longer. Totally customize that. So next is gonna be your triggers. This is where you're gonna choose your MIDI triggering, your keyboard triggering for your um, like keyboard and mouse for your computer. This is gonna be your DMX in triggering. If you have a DMX signal that's coming in, that's gonna trigger it. And then port triggering. Um, I'd assume this is going to be a feature added later on. Maybe some device that they sell to trigger the scenes. Now audio, um, I also have not messed around with. I'll have it for you in the next video. I believe it looks like you could grab a song and make it so it plays when the scene plays which is pretty cool and that could actually lead to you being able to program a light show all in this and export the light show sound with the lights to an audio card or through an interface um, which could be a really cool feature um, so I will look into that and we'll see what that exactly does so now to the right of this properties window we have the steps this is similar position as the 2.1 software this is your steps builder where you could choose your steps you could play through it so if I wanted multiple steps say I can add two more of these right now they're all the same right now and if you notice in this fade it tells you where that step starts and ends so you could change your whole time make that two seconds now when you go to this one go to this one it's gonna be a lot further than it was before change your fade times for each step the master fader will still affect the overall in and out, but these will, in between steps, will control that fade time. Just like the old scene builder, um, I will most likely go in depth with one of those in a future video in just, in just this steps builder. Now, another awesome feature is this sunglasses here, which puts you in incognito mode, um, and it hides what you're doing. So. If you're live at a show, 
and you trigger a scene, you can then hit this blind editing, they're calling it, button. And it will it will do exactly that. It will blind your editing. Mean, meaning now you can go back into an edit tab, right? You can go to a different scene and you could edit it. Oh, I didn't need that strobing that fast. Bring the strobe speed down and then go back to your live tab. Make sure you're still on that red one. And then unblind yourself. And now that didn't affect your light show, but you can edit stuff for in your light show, which is really awesome. So we're coming towards the end. I got a few more features to show you guys in today's video. We're going to skip down to this next one here, which is the live. Uh, this is where you're fine. This is where you will find your live tiles, just like previous um, softwares. There's a lot of features jammed into this. I'm just going to speak about a few of them. But basically, you'll still see all your groups, just like you did in your edit tab. So this will be all your reds. They're all separated by this nice line. Um, which is really awesome and depending on how big you have your screen this is this will totally change these ones over here will be below them you can make them really long totally customize this stuff I can move this I believe only up maybe you know I can move them up I believe you can make this a separate window too there's a lot you could do with it and when you click it you'll notice it's just like the other one it shows you whether it's repeating or not this little arrow means it is going to repeat um, so up here you got red and now if you press play it'll go to the first scene and now you can press the skip buttons and it goes to the next scene in that group right so it skips to the next one in that group or backwards so you can kind of skip around like that which is cool say I wanted to do like a quick flash right I could set up a group with a blackout scene and then a red scene excuse my phone again blackout scene and then a red scene and don't put a fade in on the red scene like this one has a fade in don't put a fade in put it so it jumps and then press the skip button quickly and then click this back and that will just flash the audience or flash the stage with a, a red light and like I said if you don't have that fade it'll look a lot better um, it'll look quite awesome actually so that's a really cool feature you could also control that from here and the other biggest change is that you could have up to four scenes in a different group, in different groups, you can't have them in the same, going at the same time. So I could put on a red scene, I can then put on a green scene, and I could put on a blue. Now you'll notice all the lights are white. I don't know what happened to this one. It should be up. All the lights are white because I have those three colors. But if I take off the green, the lights are going to be purple because I have a red scene and a blue. So it allows you to almost color mix your scenes. And like I said, you could have four of them going. So say I have those four, or pur purple strobe. I could have four of those going at the same time. And now this master skip over here skips all of them to the next one in their group. So I could cycle through them that way. You can make really good, easy shows where you just skip this. This is also really neat for those who use um, say moving heads you got your pars all the par scenes in one group your moving head scenes in the next right you can bounce around between the two of them and control them that way so you don't have you don't have to program as much in each scene and then you could do a light show with just your pars or just your moving heads or all of them together because you could choose multiple scenes at once uh, over here you've got an overall master dimmer that will dim your whole light show all the lights will be dimmed by this master dimmer so if you need a quick easy shortcut to dim your show shut your lights off there it is right there scroll down here you've got some pulse microwave uh, <laughs> microwave microphone sorry um, inputs so it goes to the music it will cycle through your scenes to the music um, you could do it by BPM. You could also tap your BPM. All right, uh, this one. Bah, 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 bah. So that's about 94, 92 BPM. So you could tap it to the beat of music. It'll recognize that and then have it go to the BPM by turning that on. You could do it by MIDI signal. Several of that. This functions here. This lock. I'd assume locks it so that, yes, it locks it with a password. So if you're leaving your light show, 
you could lock that with a password, confirm it, and then you'll have to sign back in with that in order to edit anything, change anything. Really neat. Some of these other features I haven't messed with yet. Let's get to the last part of this video, which is going to be this show. Now this I just found out about. Let me see. I don't even know. Edit maybe. Okay, so this I just found out about today. This is actually for the iPad software, I believe. So I would add a page in the iPad software, right? And then I've got this, and now I could add. Uh, that's not what I need. That's a control editor. Oh, here. So I just right click, add add a button right so this button custom name easy remote control right choose the width of it the color the text size the everything and then the association is going to be the scene so this is the scene groups right so scene uh, say I want to go to the white group and then white strobe slow and the action for this button is going to be play and stop okay or just play or just stop so you could set up several buttons press ok there it is right there now in your iPad software this will be another video again you could then move these around and control them that way in this grid kind of shape you can add color wheels all sorts all sorts of stuff so guys I hope if you check this video out it really helped you if you have any other questions you want me to look into feel free to leave them in the comments below I'll get back to you as soon as possible either through the comments or by email um, you could drop me your email if you want me to contact you that way. Or you could send me an email at redmax with two X's, studios at gmail.com. Uh, visit my website, www.redmaxentertainment.com. Uh, check out our services and provides. I hope to put more videos like this up for you guys. Uh, some lighting show videos, a whole bunch of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope it helped you out if you're using my DMX 3.0. If not, look into downloading it. Uh, you pay for it just like the 2.1 software unless you buy the MyDMX 3.0 dongle which happens to be pretty similar to the 2.1. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.